Hi, in this video, we will discuss vertices, edges and faces in Blender. So let's start off with a mesh. A 3D mesh is one of the most frequently used object types in Blender. So but what makes up a mesh? Well, vertices, edges and faces make up a mesh. So let's create the most basic mesh possible. So I'm going to go ahead and create a primitive object data type, a plane. And every primitive object data type by default is a mesh. Curves, metaballs, and lamps and cameras are not meshes. However, curves, metaballs, and text can be converted into a 3D mesh, which is commonly done by a lot of 3D artists. So now that we have a plane, I'm now going to go into edit mode by pressing tab. So here we can see our vertices, edges, and faces. So if I just uh, separate this out on its own, so I'm just gonna select this vertice by right clicking, shift D, and just put it anywhere here. A vertex is simply a point in 3D space. Now, I can duplicate another vertex by pressing Shift D and moving it somewhere here. And then I can Shift right click this vertex so that both vertices are selected. And then press F to fill. Or I can go into the menu here and create an edge. So when two or more vertices form a line, that line is called an edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and create another vertex. So I can press Control left click, that will add another vertex and join it to the previously selected one. And then I can shift right click uh, the original vertex. And I can press F to create another edge between them. And then I can shift right click the third edge and then press F again to fill into a face. So this time instead of making an edge, I make a face. A face is where three or more edges form a loop and is filled in to create a face. Generally as a practice in Blender though, I prefer to use four vertices to create a face. So I can select both of these and remove that edge by pressing X and delete edge. I can then select all four, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, F to create my face. And that pretty much forms a plane. So if I just delete everything here by box select, X, delete vertices, Oops, I think I left a stray one there, uh, we can then work with our plane. So over here you can see the edit mode selections. So right now we're on vertex select. So anything I right click will just select the vertices of your currently selected 3D object. All right, um, this is the edge select mode. So anything I right click on your object will select just the edges only. And this is a face select mode. So this will just select the faces. Note that in your 3D model, only the faces will be visible when rendered. The edges and the vertices will not be visible. They just simply form a scaffold for you to see how your 3D object is constructed. The faces in Blender are what will be visible when you render your 3D object. The vertices and edges will not be visible when rendered. They just simply form a scaffolding for you to see how your 3D model is structured. Basically with our 3D object, we can go ahead and create many different shapes. So for example, if I start with that vertice, I can control click, control left click, control left click, control left click, control left click, and keep doing that to create interesting shapes. So that is what I pretty much created in two minutes, just right in front of you. I can then make a face out of this by uh, shift right clicking and then pressing F every time I select four vertices. So every time I select four vertices, I can just simply create a face. There's no definite rule that you have to create a face using four vertices. It's just that I do a lot of character modeling work, so it's been advised to use four vertices to create the faces of a, a 3D character because um, it, uh, it's a bit complex, but it basically it allows your character to deform nicely. So I guess just for the last bit, I don't really care. I'm just going to use three um, vertices. And we just created a nice little, I don't know, a nice little hook or a tag. So, so just in the space of one minute, we've created a little, nice little tag. So that's a very, very basic uh, shoddy 3D modeling of 
something. So yeah, you can obviously play around with vertices, edges and faces as much as you like. You can even select a face, you can shift D to duplicate it, you can go back to vertex select mode, you can join them up by pressing F and then you know joining that into a face as well. So you can see how the basic building block of our plane can be used as a foundation to create more complex 3D objects. And that's how you see all those little cubes get converted into massively detailed 3D characters and buildings and trees and landscapes and all that stuff. It all started from these primitive objects. And uh, yeah, that's the basics of the vertices, edges and faces in Blender. So keep blending, keep playing around, and I hope to see you in the next video.